and you asked, how can I do this? Now I want you to tell me how great it was when you made it. You can do this. Dry aged prime rib. You know, one of the things that you need to have in your life, you need to have a really good dentist, you need to have a really good attorney, a really good bail bondsman, and a really great butcher. Maybe not in that order. But a great butcher, when it's time for prime rib, I call out a couple weeks in advance and say, get one going on the dry age for me. Now you can dry age at home, but it's really gotta be a dedicated refrigerator. But when you get that prime rib, trim it. So now this bad boy is all broken down and I've got it ready to take on the dry rub. Having a nice spice grinder makes everything a lot better, but really good uh, black pepper, the type of salt that you really enjoy. If you can get that dry seasoning on there, give it as much time as possible. That's where it becomes really super critical. Got to kind of manhandle this thing a little bit. But the key is quality ingredients, have a good butcher. I gave you all that list, right? Okay. Tell me that doesn't look fantastic, huh? Mm. Fully loaded baked potato soup. I had this one time when I did Diners, Drivers, and Dives, so of course a lot of times I taste these great dishes. I'll want to run home and do them and make it myself. Quality ingredients with something as simple as a soup are, are a must, so have good potatoes, have good cream, have good bacon, have good chives, have good cheese, and I'm always a fan of grating your own cheese, not buying the pre-grated cheese. Get a good baked potato going, okay? There's something about a baked potato when it steams inside of its skin. The real key to this is rendering down the bacon and getting some really good bacon fat to make your roux. And then having a nice mix of, uh, of accoutrement, you know, having nice little, little garnishes. I mean, you can take it all the way to roasted mushrooms if you want. So we'll talk about Dragon's Breath Chili. The key is having really good meat. When you go and get fresh ground, chili ground meat, don't just go and find what it's ever in the package. If you're gonna make a big pot of chili, you're gonna spend the time to make this, go ask your butcher to give you a really good grind, okay? I wanna get a bite of beans, and I wanna get a bite of meat and beans. Anytime you can use dry beans, I think that's a big win. I think that will take you, if you wanna talk about texture in chili and really getting the extra out of it, dry beans, always the way to go. And give the chili time. If you want to eat this chili, you really have to take the time to sweat those veggies down. Really pull that flavor out of those jalapenos. Really sweat those onions down. This is the number one. If you don't have the freshest of the dried herbs and spices, that will change your flavor. When you buy fresh spices, when you go to the store and you think like, hey, you know what, I need to update, update the pantry, that's the time to make your chili. Oh. Black bean salad. Uh, I love black bean salad. I love bean salads. If you really want to get the most out of a bean salad, go with your beans from dry. And it doesn't mean that they have to do with the all night soak and that. Boil the beans and you'll get yourself into a really nice toothsome bean. That's key. Second thing, when you're cutting the vegetables to go in this, the vegetables all need to match. There's nothing worse than looking at this beautiful bean salad and finding this big old honking chunk of red onion. So cut everything. Really work on your knife skills and make sure that everything's nice, clean, and uniform. And after that, give the bean salad some time to marry the flavors. You know, it's not just one and done. You're gonna have to go and mix it up, give it some time, put it in the fridge, give it a, give it a stir a few times, check the seasoning, check the flavor, but making beans from scratch, that's the key.